something about a new PDF viewer that I found for Google Drive. Now, if you're like me, you probably have a bunch of PDFs in your Google Drive folders. And here's an example of one that I have. This is a subject guide for computer science. It's long. It's 103 pages. And um, that's a big problem when you want to view this thing in this uh, simple PDF viewer in Google Drive. The only way to navigate is to scroll vertically. And, uh, well, this is, this is impossible in a large document. So let's look at a better option. There is uh, a Google Drive plugin which you can install. And let's have a look at that. Now open with, I've just, I right clicked on the file. Let me back up. I right click on the file and open with, and as you can see over here, I've installed a plugin called PD, a Notable PDF. Now this is a Google Drive plugin as opposed to a Google, Google Chrome browser plugin. Uh, installing, one, installing a plugin over in Chrome doesn't necessarily, uh, is not necessarily available uh, in Google Drive and vice versa. So there are two uh, sets of plugins going on here. So let's see what the document looks like in Notable PDF. <clears throat> now, the first thing to note is that, uh, well, it's a fairly large document, so it's taking a moment to load. But uh, there's this button called for the sidebar, and now I can enable the sidebar. And just like in Adobe Reader, there are two views, the page view and voila, bookmarks, PDF bookmarks. So I can easily navigate the document now, and jump all over the place, and go back to the top. And there you go. So this is a real, real great benefit. I mean, it's, it's just not practical to navigate big documents in a simple PDF viewer. Uh, the other thing to note is that it's opened the document in a new tab. It has not overridden the Google Drive tab. I can still come back to the Google Drive tab and see the same document and open it multiple times or open other documents. Each open appears in a new tab. So that's another nice feature. Uh, again, I mentioned you can open the document multiple times. You can also uh, add annotations to the document. So here I've selected the yellow highlighter and I can select this word science and there it's highlighted it. If I don't want to remove it, if I want to remove it, just mouse over it and delete it. Now it seems these these annotations appear only in notable PDF. If I download this file and open it in the finder with Adobe Reader, I don't see the annotations. So if you're looking for something like that, that needs a little more exp exploration to see if it suits your needs. And the other last thing to note is that you still have access to the, uh, the very simple PDF viewer supplied by Google. So I can still open this thing uh, in the, well, the really simple PDF viewer. So if you're really set on scrolling for 103 pages, there you can still do that. So here I have it open in the uh, simple viewer, and here I have it open in the Notable PDF viewer. So this is a great plus and uh, well it's early days I haven't uh, used it extensively but at first glance it looks terrific. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, have a nice summer and thanks for watching. Bye.